I am so excited for 8-Bit Christmas. Oh, I can't even handle it because when you have young kids mm -hmm. and you know you're going to be watching a movie throughout the whole holiday season and probably the next few years, this looks so good. I am excited to ask you some Christmas questions, oh, some holiday theme questions. It's a little game called Tell the Truth. Da -da 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 who is the most famous person who gave you a gift and what was it? Whoopi Goldberg, <gasps> when I did my first movie called Clara's Heart. Of course. That Christmas, and I had just filmed a movie with Whoopi Goldberg. In my small town in New Mexico, I got this gigantic box, and inside was a stuffed uh, elephant plush from FAO Schwartz. It was as big as I, I mean, it was huge, and I, it was gigantic. I'd never seen a stuffed animal like that before, and it was from Whoopi Goldberg. Do you judge other people's holiday decor? I only judge other people's holiday decor when they're really proud of it and it all comes from big giant like box stores. Don't have Olaf from Frozen next to like a vampire next to elves. There's a, you need a theme. Come on, Drew. You need a theme if you're going to do some decorating. How do you accept a terrible gift so graciously? This for, for me? Oh, I have never. <laughs> what is the worst gift David ever gave you? I said that I wanted a bracelet. I wanted a really simple bracelet, like that you could wear all the time. And he got me a bracelet, but not at all simple. He got me one that was very super ornate and fancy. And that he'd spent, you know, bracelets aren't inexpensive. But it isn't all what I wanted. I was pretty clear about a specific, t you know, jewelry. You want to have jewelry this a specific way. I am so excited for 8-Bit Christmas. Nice. I can't even handle it. This script came along and it's sort of an 80s take on a Christmas story. Yes. But instead of a BB gun, he wants a Nintendo entertainment game system. And I just thought that was... It was really funny. I think the movie plays really well. It's fun for adults, it's fun for kids. And I think it's good enough it could be watched in year after year, like a perennial kind of thing. I think this is a classic in the making and I think adults, we, we did get movies in the 80s that serviced both children and parents. Totally. The 70s and 80s didn't talk down to kids. No. It was about the whole family, it was about adults. And that Simpsons rule of mm. you can speak to everyone. I am so excited for this movie. Like, I need this. I feel like this is what we have been waiting for. Our I'm whole not life. kidding. I'm so excited. I just really, I have to like thank you because you're going to save my Christmas. Hey, at least for an hour and a half. Oh my gosh. I, I love Christmas movies. They are something that you do over and over and over. So that's why I think it's a classic in the making. Watching Emma Daughter's Jug Band Christmas, watching It's a Wonderful Life, watching 8-Bit Christmas, you know, like being able to have the same traditions over and over is a big part of the holiday. And my uncle, Jeez. my great uncle Lionel is Potter which is so fun. Wow. Lionel Barrymore. Oh my God, that's right. I know. That's cool. And he was in a wheelchair in real life. Wow. And that, you know, that doesn't stop the Barrymores. We try to show it more often to our kids, but when they see black and white movies that were filmed on film, they say that it's blurry. This is the age of our children. I know. They think that if something's filmed on film instead of digitally, it's blurry. I know. Uh, so I gotta, I, know. I gotta take him to an actual cinema. Let me ask you about Wondercade because oh, yeah. you know how much I love Box One and your games. I feel like if somebody said, I want you to paint a picture of Neil Patrick Harris's style, I could. What would that be? Cocktail, old fashioned, nice. a hint of magician. There's a modernity to it. Oh, I love this but word. But it is not modernity. future. Do you ever feel like you were born in the wrong era? I always loved the magicians that did the, that traveled on trains, Thurston and Dante, and everyone went to see their shows 
in tuxedos and top hats and velvet seats. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was wonderful that period. And so I've always loved textures and things that were tactile and Wonderkate I thought was a fun opportunity to be able to talk about things that I've done, talk about things that I like, talk about uh, things that one can acquire, recommendations and things. Yeah. In a single place, you know, an email, a newsletter, and it's really written like a newsletter. You can look at it on your phone and you can scroll through it, but it feels it's even broken down into acts, almost like a, a variety show. And there's interviews. I interviewed uh, the new Doogie Howser. I had a Doogie B. Doogie interview. It's sort of like a gentleman's goop, but a little less viscous. If you are a female, it all, it's great because you can look at things to buy for your man. And if you're a man, it's, it's helpful. You can learn some skills to make your life more entertaining. Here's the thing also. Wondercade is a word that didn't really exist before. So I created the weird word, and I think it's easy to say. I love gentleman's goop. That actually is Thanks. super fun. There isn't that out there. There is no. And we're all coming to the party! Every kid has that one gift they want more than anything for Christmas. This is the story of mine. Bookends? They have baseballs on them. I see that. No, not those. Nintendo. A maze of rubber wiring and electronic intelligence so advanced it was deemed not a video game, but an 8-bit entertainment system. No Nintendo in my house. I second that. Looks like a no-go on Nintendo. I needed a Christmas miracle. The year was 1987, or was it 88? Super Bowl was in 86. Okay, does it really matter, Dad? Okay. The year was the late 80s. I was 11 years old. Did you wear a helmet? Yeah, we always wore helmets in the 80s. Me and my friends would do anything just to play one. Any of you huddle masters wanna play? Yeah! What have you brought me? I got a goldfish! Untraceable cash money! It's the final countdown! One thing became clear, I needed to get my own. This is bigger than Christmas. The Our Vietnam. I don't think that means what you think it means. I have no idea what it means. We're gonna get in so much trouble. Sometimes during Christmas, just when you think that all hope is lost, something magical happens. Sold out in 20 minutes. Suddenly, one woman punched her grandma right in the throat. Same family, too. Are you making all this up? No, no, no way. You guys here in the race selling contest? First prize is a brand new Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah! I'm gonna kill you. Hold on. Uh... There are no rules. That Nintendo's mine. What do you want? Wanna buy a wreath? Ma, this kid thinks your wreath sucks. Video games. Have been doing all kinds of strange things to children. What? It was the 80s. Stuff got real. Ah. Red Dog, this is Bluebird. This is Rembo One. What happened to Red Dog? I changed it. Well, let's change names now. This is Millennium Falcon. Super cool. Woo! Love it. Rated PG.